Alrighty ladies, welcome back to Leona here. Uh, before I can finish my grasslage chopping there, I have to get the cows fed. I only got to hit a couple pens and then I want to get a nice hay bale out to the pasture cows. I know they don't need a whole lot, but it'd be nice to just throw a full bale out there. So. I already got my silage and uh, cracked corn, or I mean not cracked corn, my uh, wet corn in. So we are going to sit here and double check my feeding. I had 40% of this tub worth of silage in. That's one hay bale. And now all we need to get is my crack horn. So let's do a run test again. I think it was two buckets if I remember correctly. Hopefully I got enough. Otherwise I'm definitely going to have to order some more. Well I already know I'm going to have to order some more. We also got to order some uh, or go find some straw bales from auction or something. But let's see what we can get here. Alright, eighty three percent full for right now. I don't know if I'm even gonna have enough for one tub worth. Which sucks. I got the cows that are actually producing the feed. Alright, we got her in. So, I could throw in some more silage for filler. I should do some more high moisture corn in there. We'll get into the other tractor once I get this bucket back in here tight squeeze, you know. Alright, let's just stab this one up quick. And then we'll jump into the 86. And we are 80% or er, 88% full, so I can throw quite a bit more in. I want to try to get a full load. My options are I can always throw a straw bale in too. Right now, I have to conserve my straw bales, but I am going to throw in some more fermented cornmeal, and we'll see if we can't bring that one all the way up. And then I'll have to get some more cracked corn delivered since I do not have any corn this season because I chopped it all. But we'll run around and get our free stalls fed. And see how much we actually have left after this tub. I technically only made it one day so far since I bought the cows. But it's going to be interesting to see what it takes on three day seasons to make it through winter. I uh, better bring up my... Um, we need a tip to the right. There we go. We need to get pen number three fed here. A little bit. I don't want to give them at all. Because they still got to go down the line and get the other two pens.
Then we switch to the other side. It is so nice having a tub with the variable belt on it. I don't have to come all the way out of the end of the building and turn around. Alright, let's see what the cow's up to. So this is our pasture farm, which you can see they still got plenty of food in there, but I want to throw a hay bale in there so that we can just quickly hay. And then I do not have to, I could always throw some silage in too. And then we would be fine at just barely scraping by until they get bigger. Then our open free stalls, kind of the same thing here. It's just going to be minimum feed, maybe, uh, Oh no, the open free stall melts, so that's got to be full mixed rations. Forgot about that. I made that one milk. And then our three free stall uh, pens here are the ones we just fed. And honestly, to get them through two days, I could go another tub. But that means I'm sitting right about a tub. I think they had about a tub in there. So let's say two tubs a day is what I need to mix for these cows. So that's going to be a lot of work to get them caught, or to keep them up there. Then this barn on the left is the open free stall, and that's the one they do produce milk. And I keep forgetting that I switched that one up to produce milk. But they're attached right to the parlor here, so. You know, might as well make them produce milk. We'll burn back up and get that Magnum. Need to throw some bigger tires on this 86 to make it go a little faster. And... I think I can run faster than this. No cars. We're still probably going to get creamed by one. I'll put it away later. I just want to get the bale out into the pasture right now. Ride the clutch a little bit, take off in a higher gear, get going. Gonna be deadly. Oh, that was a close one. He got lucky. Um, not so much. What the heck? Did I just get? I did get creamed by another one. Lovely traffic. Let me grab my bale again. Come on. Not the perfect stab, but it'll have to do. That was a bit of another failure. Now let's try not to run into anything else. And I gotta get out and open this gate straight in front of us. Then I'll be able to get this bale right into the bale ring. There we go. Well, let's try not to take out the fence here. And away it is. I 
I will be working on getting some of these other pens bedding down with some uh, straw then, so I'll figure I'll do that off camera here. And bring you guys back later when I find something good to show you. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.